The third tab in the tool palette is labeled NR Lens. NR stands for noise reduction. Noise, the digital equivalent of grain, can sometimes be seen when shooting at high ISO settings, particularly in the shadow areas of an image. At a 50% view, it's difficult to see the noise reduction effect, so it won't even be applied to the preview image. Enlarge your image to 100% or 200% to see the effect of noise reduction. When working with a RAW file, you have the choice of reducing luminance noise and or chrominance noise. If you're adjusting a JPEG or a TIFF, chrominance noise reduction is available. Drag the slider to either low or high and click Apply NR. The image will take a second or two to render the effect on the screen. We all wish that every lens was perfect, but some lenses will show undesirable effects in certain images. You can easily correct for drops in illumination at the edges of images, often called vignetting, distortion, distortions in the subject, color blur, or color aberration with the lens aberration correction area of the tool palette. See the manual that came with this software to check compatible cameras and lenses before using this tool. The first step to making a lens correction is clicking the Tune button. If you're using one of the most recently released Canon SLRs, you will not need to enter the shooting distance information since the software will automatically read that information. The few exceptions to this are listed in the Digital Photo Professional software manual. When correcting images shot with older Canon digital SLRs, the slider is automatically set to the right end at the infinity position. You can then adjust the slider to the appropriate distance manually. Place a check mark in the box next to the type of correction you'd like to make, and enter a value or move the slider until the desired effect is achieved. As you make changes, the image is corrected and redisplayed. To check the results of the chromatic aberration correction and color blur, click on the area of the image that you'd like to see, and the image will enlarge to 200% in the upper right window. You can correct red chromatic aberration with the R slider and blue chromatic aberration with the B slider. Check the navigator box to show or hide the position of the enlargement display at the top right. You can turn on a grid by clicking this box. The Reset button clears your changes and sets the image back to the starting point. When all your corrections have been made, click OK, and the results of the corrections are displayed in the Edit window. In the thumbnail, you'll see a lens icon to tell you that there's been a lens correction made to this image. 